Hi thinkers, welcome to the data structures in Java course on ThinkX Academy. In the previous tutorial, we saw how we can insert a node inside of a linked list at the head position. So uh, we created the start function inside of our program, which was able to actually insert a linked list from the starting. So in the output, we were able to see the results here, which was the resultant linked list. Now we are going to write a function which actually inserts a node at a particular position uh, in between of, uh, of a linked list, right? So which is very important, which will include traversal and uh, if else uh, conditional statement. So here I'm going to quickly write, uh, I'm going to just make a call to a new function, which will be our insert add function. So this function is actually going to insert a particular element in between the linked list, right? So initially we have this linked list, as you can see here, we made a call to the start function and we made it uh, three times, right? We did it three times. So we have one, two and four. So one was inserted in the linked list, then two was inserted at head and then four was inserted at head, right? So now we want to insert three. And let's say I want to insert three between two and four, right? So this is the exact position where I want to insert three. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just create this node. The first step is actually involve uh, allocating this node using the node class. So we will first allocate this node object using the node class. We will create an object by passing the data three. Now I wish to insert this node in between these two positions, right? So whenever you want to insert a node in between at any particular position or according to the value of the node. So let's say I want to insert three after four. So I actually need to check this value four here, right? So what we need to do is we need to remember one important thing that uh, we will start the traversal from the first node. We will create a temporary pointer, which will actually be an iterator, which will keep moving from one node to another. And it will keep checking whether we are at a position where we wish to insert, right? So remember that this temporary pointer should point to one position before wherever we want to insert this node three. So if I want to insert three here, this temporary node should only uh, should be pointing at four. So if I want to insert three, let's say here in between uh, two and one, then this temporary pointer should point at two. The reason being that we are only able to access the next node using the next pointer. So we will not have a previous pointer, right? So it will become difficult for us to insert. So we need to actually make sure that we stop uh, our while condition uh, one place before we have the element, right? So I want to actually uh, make a call to this insert add function. And this function, I will supply it with two values. First is going to be the position where I want to insert. So I will supply the position four right so after four i want to insert three so i will supply the next data which is three itself right which is the data now this is just an integer we need to pass this integer to the node class here so here you can see i am going to pass two variables uh, two uh, numbers which is four and three and now i need to define this function i will just click on create method at here so here we have two uh, variables i and j for uh, un more understanding i will make this value and data right so value actually is four here because it actually represents the, so value four represents the position, the value of the node where we, we wish to insert the uh, item. So here now what we are going to do is we will actually, we are going to write a traversal. So we don't need to write it again. We have already done that in case of display. So I'm just going to copy this whole code from here and I'm going to paste this here, right? So here we are doing the traversal from one position to another. And instead of printing this data, what I need to do is I need to check whether the value of the node equals to equals to the value that we are passing here. So what I can do is I can simply write a check condition here that if the temp dot data is equal to the value that we are passing, which is four in our case. Now what I'm going to do is now I'm going to perform insertion here, right? So I'm going to perform insertion here inside of this if case, right? So our temporary pointer will keep going on, but only and only when we have this, we have found this value, we will, uh, we are going to insert, right? So once we have inserted, we are also going to return out from here because we don't want it to move to other positions. So we are assuming that we don't have same elements inside of the linked list. If we have that and we want to actually insert at a particular position, we can create a count variable here or a position variable, which will keep updating at each iteration inside of this while loop. And whenever we get the position, the required position, again, we can perform the insertion steps, right? So now let's move on to the main step, which is how do we perform insertion in this linked list, right? So insertion is actually going to be uh, only two steps here, right? So the first step is actually involves that the given node. So here you can see we have the given node and we wish to insert it here. So I'm just going to remove this uh, arrow from here. Now you can see that I want to insert three here. So the first step says that you're going to reassign the next pointer of this three was actually pointing to null. So you need to reassign it. So I'm just going to uh, remove this null here. So you need to reassign this next pointer instead of pointing to null, you will have to assign it to the next position of the value, right? So here you can see we have temp dot next, right? So we want this next pointer to point to this variable and how we can do that is very simple. We're just going to say 
that the node dot next right or we can say the new node dot next right so first we need to allocate the node so here in the code uh, whenever we are actually inserting we need to create a new node also just the same way we were doing it in the head function also so here also i'm going to create a new node and this node will have a data now what i want to do is i have this new node and it has a value three here so now what i want to do is i want to change the next of this to temp.next right so temp.next is actually pointing to two which you can see here temp.next is pointing here and since it is pointing here i can use this reference uh, node uh, so new node.next will be now pointing to temp.next which is two but the task uh, there is one more step which is involved which is the final step which is to reassign this link here right you can see this link here what i need to do i need to reassign it to our new node right so what i will do is i will have to first remove this link and now this link is going to point to our new node right so you can see that that we have now our complete link list it starts from four then three then two and one so here what i'm going to write is the last step which is that we are going to say that now the temp.next is going to point to our new node so it will be now equal to the new node right so now let's perform these two steps here inside of the insert function and here we are che checking whether the data is equals to equals to value we can use other logic for example if instead of the value of node we want to insert at particular position we can start with a for loop which goes from one position to another just like linear search we can do that and now here what we can do is the first step is to assign new node dot next so i will just write new node dot next equals to m dot next right and the next step is to actually write m dot next equal to new node right so now we are done with our steps so if i will run this program so let's save this and let's try to run this program and you can see the output here we have four three two one so you can see that three is now inserted between four and two so this is how we can perform insertion at uh, a particular given value after a given value or if we want to do uh, with the position let's say i want to insert at position two so i can pass the position two here and i will uh, keep updating uh, i will keep an update of a count uh, count variable which will keep incrementing inside of this while loop and whenever that becomes equal to the position we are just going to say that now uh, we can perform these uh, three steps which are again the same which is to perform the insertion right so this is how we perform insertion and in the next tutorial we will see how we can delete an element from this link list right so that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching